copying, pasting and moving text. When it comes time to edit your text and shape into a masterpiece document, the job is all about cutting, copying and pasting. Compared to actually using scissors and paste, Word makes manipulating text almost effortless. Editing tools in Clipboard Paint. As you can see here, the editing tools are available in the Home tab Clipboard Paint. Here's how to use them. We have a sample document here to test these tools. Our first tool is Cut. First you need to select text before you cut it from your document. After selecting the text, go to Home tab. In that you can find the cut symbol in the Clipboard pane. Click on Cut. When you invoke the Cut command, your selected item disappears, but Cut is very different from a Delete or a Clear command. Copy in a text. As you may expect, Copy makes a duplicate of the selected text or object and stores it from the clipboard. It leaves the selection in place in its original location. First, you need to select text before you copy it. After selecting the text, go to Home tab. In that, you can find the Copy symbol in the clipboard pane. Click on Copy. The selected text is now copied and you can paste the text wherever required. Paste the text. Before you use the paste command, you must first cut or copy some text. Then put the insertion point exactly where you want to place the item and then paste away. Pasting can be done by clicking on the paste button placed in the clipboard pane. Editing with keyboard shortcuts. The keyboard shortcuts are the quickest and easiest editing commands to use as you're typing along because you don't need to take your hands off the keyboard. As shown here, you can use the cut, copy and paste commands with only a couple of fingers of the left hand. More importantly, you have to select the text which you are going to edit. Editing with a mouse. It's easy to drag and drop text to a new location using just your mouse. Take your hands off the keyboard, lean back in your chair, grab the mouse and follow these steps. Click the left mouse button and drag to select the text that you want to relocate. Word highlights the text to show you what you've selected. Let go of the mouse button when you're done. Click the selected text and holding down the mouse button, drag the mouse to the new location for the text. As shown here, a little rectangle below the cursor means you're dragging something. Release the mouse button. Doing that finishes the job, places the move text at the insertion point. Using bullets and numbering. Using bulletin option. It's easy to turn an ordinary paragraph into a bulleted paragraph. Word does all the heavy lifting for you. You may spend more time choosing a bullet style than applying it. Here's how to create a bulleted list. Go to Home. Place your mouse pointer on Paragraph Group and then click the triangle next to the bullet button to open the bullet menu. At the top of the bullet, you see bullet styles that you used recently. In the middle, you see your bullet library. The bottom section shows bullet styles that have already been used in the document. At the very bottom are two commands for customising bullets. On the bullets menu, click to choose a bullet style. Type some text and then press enter to start a new paragraph. When you hit enter to create a new paragraph, Word assumes that you're continuing with your bulleted list, so it adds the same bullet and indent automatically. You don't have to do anything, just keep on writing. When you're through with your bulleted list, press Enter and then click the Home Move onto Paragraph and click on the same bullet button again to turn off bullet formatting. If you have a few paragraphs that you've already written and you want to change them to bulleted paragraphs, just select all the paragraphs and then click the bullet button. Customising bullets. You don't have to settle for the bullet shown on the menu. Word has more choices tucked away. To explore the bullet options available to you, open the bullet menu and then at the bottom of the menu click Define New Bullet. The Define New Bullet box opens, showing you three buttons at the top, Symbol, Picture and Font. Use the symbol to browse through additional bullet options that are built into Word's type libraries. Use the Font button to apply character styles to your choice such as font size, shadow or bold formatting. The middle button is the most interesting. It opens the picture bullet box, where you see a whole slew of bullets based on picture files. In addition to these dozens of bullet options, you can use your own picture or graphic files as bullets. Just click the import button at the bottom left corner to open the add clips to organize box. 
Use this Windows file box to select any picture on your computer and add it to your bullet library. Numbered paragraphs. In most cases, numbered paragraphs work just like bulleted paragraphs. You can follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the previous section for making bulleted paragraphs to make numbered paragraphs. Just go to Home, place your mouse pointer on Paragraph Group, and then click the triangle next to the Numbering button to open the Numbering menu. Click the Numbering button and then choose a number style. The main distinction between the numbered paragraphs and the bulleted paragraphs is in the options. For numbered paragraphs, you can choose from Arabic numbers, Roman numerals, numbers set off by parentheses, and alphabetic sequences. You can even use words such as 1, 2, 3, or 1st, 2nd, 3rd.